This win rate doesn't look too good, does it? Pick rate? Damn, that's low too. What about the win rate in really high ranks? Oh boy. But the numbers don't tell the whole story. After all, we are talking about a champion which was nerfed when he was at a 48% win rate and still gets picked often in every competitive event. Why is that? What is it that sets Azir apart from other champions who are simply weak? It's one word. Versatility. I don't think I've ever felt more comfortable blind picking a champion than I did with Azir. He can do so many jobs with just his relatively simple kit. Think about it. You've got a low cooldown control mage. Orianna and Syndra also have mid-ranged, hard-to-dodge poke at a low cooldown. You know what they don't have? Sustained DPS. As it does. Okay, then he's a marksman. Many of them have both those attributes. But wait. Azir has amazing self-peel with his ult, and can even use it for engage when diving the enemy backline. Alright, but Ash also has some self-peel, single target, but it's something, right? Well, guess what? Azir's is AoE, and he's got one of the longest dashes in the entire game, if not the longest, for a basic ability. Now think about it real hard. What other champion does what Azir does? Control mages lack mobility, ADCs lack self-peel or mobility, assassins lack a great neutral game and utility. The only one who even comes close is Corky, but you can't compare his puny dash with this big boy. Runes can determine Azir's whole playstyle. Need DPS against melee champions? Go Conqueror. Need strong lane trades and burst? Halo Blades is your friend. Against a tough long range matchup? Comet allows you some breathing room. I don't believe any other champion can path into so many different playstyles without compromising some aspect of their kit. But if he's so great, then why are his win rates and pick rates so pathetic outside of competitive play? It's one word. Versatility. Yes, his biggest strength in the hands of most players is his weakness. You'd be amazed at how many people can't even build him right, let alone play in a way that fits whatever runes and items they choose. Have you ever heard from a friend or acquaintance that, since Azir is a late game champion, you should just play conservatively and scale while harassing a lane opponent from time to time? Maybe you heard it from a pro play caster or something, and technically they're not wrong. That is how Azir is played in competitive, because that's how competitive is played. It's the way control mages operate in that environment. Solo kill, however, especially below Diamond Elo, is a different beast. You can't just expect to sit in lane, get a CS advantage, and scale for structured front-to-back teamfights. Hell, you might even be the team's frontline sometimes. Not by choice, of course. In this environment, lots of people struggle to adapt towards a more aggressive playstyle of getting a big lead and snowballing. All the way to roughly Diamond 2, you cannot rely on a teammate to be, well, Competent. And if you're silver thinking it gets better in platinum, it really doesn't. So you have to be the centerpiece of the match every time. How do you accomplish that? Aggression. Raw YOLO Q aggression that lets champions like Yone and Yasuo thrive in this no man's land that is ranked. Do you see in this? This is what's wrong with today's youth. Back in my day, we'd be confident and bring Ignite to get solo kills. I mean, have you seen the amount of disrespect Azir gets in lane? Just poke them well into level 4 or level 6 and pounce when they make a mistake. They either die, flash, or are forced to take a bad reset. Once you grasp how to play like that, you will never lose lane again. At worst, you go even. And remember, by going even, you're pretty much doing what Azir is supposed to do in order to outscale most champions in the game. Now does it seem like Azir deserves a 47% win rate in all ranks? Hell, especially in all ranks. You should be a menace, I'd even dare to say he shines even more in low elo games, since your opponents won't be able to identify your mistakes, much less punish them. And if you want to dominate lane even harder, you could even bring him top lane. This video should help you with the basics on how to do that, become the thing that Darius players see in their nightmares. Hope to see you there and thank you for watching.